guys, Junior with SLT Metalworks coming at you with another video. Uh, however, I... All right, so we got a sign cut out on the table. I uh, took the footage in the house, downloaded everything. I had a couple other videos on there uh, I was editing. Uh, come to find out, our file footage got corrupted for this sign that we're about to show you. Long story short, uh, throw that SD card away. We got some new one. Uh, just a whole bunch of joys of, uh, you know, doing YouTube, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure everybody's had it happen one time or another. But file footage got corrupted, so we're going to go over the sign, and we're going to go through the paint process of how we get that done. It is a little difficult sometimes. People ask me what I use, what I don't use. Some of these things, guys, I'll, I'll throw out there and tell you, but some of these things, I don't know. It's just uh, it's what we like to hold close dear to us as a secret, but I don't know. You might get some of them in this video. Who knows? You just never know. All right, guys, so here it is. It's the German Shepherd uh, Ragged Flag, uh, and it actually has the dog's name in there, Maya. Uh, doing this one for a special friend. He's doing it for his friend <laughs> through us. So uh, just a bunch of friends hanging out, uh, getting sign work done. It works out pretty good. So we had cut this out on the CNC plasma table right over here. Got it all done up. Uh, it was looking mighty fine on the footage. Uh, yeah, and then we found out the footage was corrupted, so we lost all of that. But we're going to make this up to the gentleman because we didn't get his footage in there. At least get him a video of us getting this painted up and see just exactly how this turns out. So let's get her out here in the gravel. We'll get the etching solution sprayed on everything. I don't know. Could turn out pretty good. All right, so we got our uh, Maya Ragged Flag German Shepherd out here spraying on our magical solution. This stuff will eat the mill scale right off of there. And I've had a few guys new to the channel ask me why I do this. Uh, so this metal comes with a mill scale on it. And it's like uh, from the refinery where they produce this metal. When you try to uh, put your your paint and everything on top of that, it just does not work out. So you want to get that mill scale off, get back down all the new little shiny bits and pieces, and you can see some of them starting to form already. You get that mill scale off there, it gets it back down to nice new shiny metal, and you can uh, turn out a fantastic product, that's for sure. But, but yeah, I don't let the cat out of the bag about the magical solution. Uh... I can give you a hint though if you'd like a hint uh, we use this from time to time in our fandy dandy pool up there so <laughs> so it works out like that you can buy the uh, correct stuff online they make an etching solution uh, it's it's fairly reasonably priced so do a little checking online you can find it fairly easy all right guys uh, she's been sitting here for maybe a minute and a half two minutes but you can see the color difference, difference how it's changed and ate that meal scale off her. Just take the water hose, rinse some of that meal scale off her just a little bit. And yes, we're putting water right back on this new, nice, shiny steel. Isn't that terrible? All right, so we'll let her dry there just a little bit. Get that water off there. And I think I usually let these dry, get pretty much evaporate most of the water off. But I think in this one, we're just gonna squirt our solution right back on here, get right back after it. That water that's on that sign will dilute that just a little bit, but it's not uh, not terrible. All right, we'll be back when we get the, all this finished up, get this good dry product cleaned up against the garage here. All right, we got her all finished up. We're just gonna rinse it off real good. Make sure you get front, back, up, down, left, right. If you don't get all this etching solution off, you will not put in a very good paint job. It will show through. few extra moments of cleaning with the water hose will get you a better, better product. All right, we'll sit her over here and let her rinse off. 
or let her dry off. I mean, all right, guys. As you can see, we've uh, we've been using the wire wheel here. This is once we got everything dried, uh, we come in here, we blow it off with the air hose a little bit, let it dry. Come in here, wire wheel the back. Now we're wire wheeling the front, and you can see uh, the half we haven't done and the half we have done. So we just take the wire wheel and go right back over top of everything, just like it was if we was cleaning the mill scale or slag or whatever off of it. So it works out pretty, pretty good, but quite a bit of difference in uh, non-wire wheeled and wire wheeled. Uh, this, this metal doesn't have to be back to perfect. You gotta remember we're covering this up with paint. But the other thing you have to remember is on some of these, like these flags, uh, we're leaving some of these lines just clear coated. So we wanna make sure we get a good enough product uh, everything turns out right but we're putting our designs and stuff in there too and you have to remember some of that stuff is not going to show up it's going to be gone or uh, highlighted or whatever so yeah just a fairly easy deal here just your regular wire wheel and a little elbow grease goes a long way <laughs> all right so we are back in on this one got it uh, all the designs painted dandy designs put in there you can kind of see them gleaming so like I said before, and I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, uh, this gets painted hammered copper, uh, and we'll tape this off. I think I'm going to do the flag part first, then come in here and take this off and uh, put the uh, hammered copper on there. I think that will be the easiest thing to do. I'm not 100%. I haven't decided quite yet. But yeah, we put all these designs and stuff in here, and that's what gives you kind of the reflections of... Uh, with some of these signs like we've got uh you can see the uh, route 66 there it's kind of got the designs in it come through of course the harley does and of course our regular flag uh our eagle's done the same way and the defender second it's done the same way just uh, i mean it's just our paint style I, I don't know how else to put it it's just kind of kind of the things we do it's uh kind of our signature mark maybe i don't know there's not a whole lot of people doing it out there. They're starting to catch up a little bit. I think they've been watching my videos. I don't... <laughs> All right, guys. So we've got our sign all prepped, everything. We've got uh, primer on the back. It's all gotten good and dry. Good to go there. Uh, big deal here. Do not put your fingers on this bare metal. Uh, as I say that, do not put your fingers on the bare metal the best you can try to not do that i can't guarantee that happens a lot but that is a little tip that you need there all right got the bottom of our blue there take my razor knife trim that out just a touch we'll take the razor knife fold it tape under All right, now for the German Shepherd here. Let's see, I'm gonna do these bridges. As you can see, these bridges here, they get a little, a little tricky sometimes. A little aggravating. And it all is what you're painting and what you can get away with. You can see we've got our blue comes down through here pretty easy to tell and, and when you're drawing these up on the plasma table you always look ahead and look for how you're gonna paint it what's gonna what kind of issues you're gonna run into while you're painting it uh, it's, it gets a little a little tricky sometimes but the more of these you do the more you figure it out it's so a lot of people would like paint one and then you know and then they'd come back and I uh, I like to paint one color at a time, not get it on the rest of my bare metal. Turns out a better product. It's just how we do it here. Yeah, we'll pull out our old painter's paper here. Let's see, we'll run this one about like, I don't know. Let's go this way. Let's go this way and see what happens. Now we'll probably just tape that corner right there all the way off. Call it good.
All right, back at it, fixing the painted blues. You guys seen I missed that little corner there. We got it taped off. Everything looks uh, kosher there. A little piece of fuzz there. I don't know where that comes from. Of course, this is not a very clean paint booth, but let's put some color on here and see what happens. Good. See ya? Just a little blue on there. Make it shine. We'll give it time to dry. Put one more coat on it. Call it good. Alright, what we got now? Well, we've got the stripes all... Let's see. The blue paint has dried. We'll give her an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Uh, we've got all our stripes taped off. Uh, that's a lot of tape, I know. Uh, but then we're going to come back and paint everything. Red line, red line, red line, red line there. Uh, should turn out pretty good. Got the bottom half of the uh, German Shepherd. I drew a blank there for a second. Got the bottom half of the German Shepherd all squared away. Let's put this tape on it or this uh, paper on here. I had you guys kind of squared away there for a minute and uh, I forgot to hit the record button, of course. But that's okay. Just back in here where it goes. Let's put one more little piece up here so we can double over on the back side of the sign. All right, we'll get this uh, paper all folded up, folded under. We'll get her over here on the paint rack, spray a little red on it, see what happens. Let's get a little red paint on here. What do you think? Turning out pretty good. Looking, looking pretty good. The old ragged flag. All right, ladies and gents, let's get the paper off and the tape off. See how this part looks. Man, we had a nasty rain shower come through a while ago. And it is hotter than Hades out here right now. It is absolutely crazy. So, we're enjoying the fine outstanding weather here in Kentucky. Hope you guys are doing the same. And as I said before, try to refrain from touching the sun on that bare metal. It's still bare. Nothing, nothing to protect it right now, so. No, I'm looking terrible. I think that's going to work out pretty good. I like it. Hopefully the customer likes it. But we're almost there, guys. We're going to let this sit up and uh, dry just a little bit more. But I tell you what, it uh, done all right. I think I think the Maya turned out all right, keeping it in the silver. Of course, the dog's going to be hammered copper. We got to get that all taped off, but. Uh, We'll let this get a little uh, little hardened up, a little more drying time on it before we do anything with it, and we'll see uh, see what happens. All right, so we got the primer all dried up. Let's get some hammered copper on here and get this sign finished up. This one's been pretty good process getting, getting all these different colors and stuff uh, put on here. I will let you know I did not charge enough. But I did not charge accordingly. I should have charged more. Ah, uh, but that's all right. Good customers. They receive some good prices sometimes. Listen, uh, I like doing this stuff, so not out to make a killing. 
Have to make a little bit. All right. Should be enough. Let's let that get all tacked up, good to go. We will see what happens. You wanna take a look at it? Not too shabby. So yeah, hopefully that turns out about right. We'll see what happens. All right, ladies and gents, here is our Golden German Shepherd. Uh, so like I was kind of saying before, this gentleman ordered for a friend of his who lost his uh, Golden German Shepherd uh maya so they're doing this one in kind of remembrance of that but uh believe this one turned out mighty sharp uh doesn't do it real good justice with that uh that brown background there but not not too bad on the uh on the finished product everything seemed to work out pretty good just wanted to show you guys a little bit of how we get these painted up and what was going on with that i know we got the file corrupted from uh, getting this cut out Hopefully you guys bear with me on that one. So, yeah. But if you need anything like this, look us up. Shooters Option Targets slash SOT Metalworks on Facebook. Uh, Instagram. The whole nine yards there. You can choose the email. Shooters Option Targets at gmail.com. Uh, go check us out at Shooters Option Targets.com and order your fine and dandy sign for you. So, all right, guys, that's it. We're going to cut on out of here. Hope everybody's doing safe. Uh, got some crazy weather going on here in Kentucky, so I hope you guys are hanging in there with that. But, yeah, you guys stay safe. And remember, work smarter, not harder. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We out.